Mr. Borges, welcome to the program. Thank you. Can you first tell us from your own eyewitness account what happened with all that drama in the last 24 hours? A helicopter over the National Assembly. I mean, was it attacking? Was it a staged event? What actually happened to the best of your knowledge? Well, we, we are living in Venezuela in a real turmoil. And every day we have like a, a real crisis in Venezuela mm -hmm. because we are living right now in an in a anarchy in Venezuela. Yesterday, for example, as you mentioned, we have the problem of uh, the uh, helicopter uh, flying all over Caracas and, and they say attacking the, the uh, judiciary, uh, the, the, the highest tribunal in Venezuela, the Supreme Court in Venezuela. And then we have in the national parliament, in the Assemblea, uh, it was surrounded by paramilitary groups who were uh, dropping bombs inside the parliament in Venezuela and we were uh, kidnapped by then, by these paramilitary groups, until 10 o'clock at, at night. And at the same time, we have a sentence from the Supreme Court that uh, drawn the responsibilities of the general attorney and, and, and quit the, the responsibilities of the general attorney that is right now defending the Constitution. And it's like a continual yeah. violence and a coup d'etat in Venezuela. So let me, let me just fully understand what you're saying that who are these paramilitaries? Were they government paramilitaries that you say attacked the National Assembly and held you captive? Yeah, the, the government has a, a group of uh, uh, regular citizens to call in a way that they call the colectivos. And these are uh, really uh, uh, paramilitary groups. They, ha they carry whip weapons, they have uh, uh, bombs, and they attack the opposition and regular citizens all over Venezuela, and they have like a, like a, all impunity in order to to attack people with uh, any kind of control, and it's very similar that they have in Cuba or they have in Panama in Noriega's time, and uh, it's a very dangerous situation because they act as a policeman, but they really are activists from uh, the the uh, PSUP, which is the political party of Nicolás Maduro. So what happened to you because you got pushed around yesterday? You're president of the National Assembly. Well, that, that was an additional problem. Besides that we were surrounded by these paramilitary groups, we have a situation with the National Guard within the Assembly because they didn't allow that we make a kind of inspection within a, a kind of uh, office or base that they have within the parliament. There was a rumor that they have or electoral material or even weapons within the, the parliament. And uh, all the deputies were uh, in front of this uh, National Guard base within the parliament. And we have a, a real confrontation. And the people who is in, in, which have the responsibility of our own security, they attack us as wow. deputies uh, yesterday. It's a, it's a, uh, uh, something which is a, a shame for Venezuelans to show this kind of pictures to the world. Well, well we are showing them, and, and, and Mr. Borges, this is a very, very serious accusation against the government of Nicolas Maduro, who will obviously deny this. He says the country is under attack. What is his game? What, what do you think this is leading to? Well, yesterday Maduro, Maduro had a, a, a rally for the Constitutional Assembly that he's promoting which is against the law, against the Constitution. And they say something in a line, which is a real resume about Nicolás Maduro. He said, whatever we, we cannot achieve through votes, we're going to achieve through violence. Mm. I, 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 I think that this is a real, a real line which resume what's the real intention of, of Maduro. It, it's not, nothing else that to promote in Venezuela a very similar kind of system as we have in Cuba, or, or, or even something uh, radical, uh, which is very, very similar as a Cuba, and this is his real paradigm. Were you expecting such a severe escalation as you saw uh, in the National Assembly? No, no, not at all. And we, we are concerned because we have the, the next election of the Constitutional Assembly, which is the proposal of Maduro in a month, and, and they, they are trying to, to to use this as a tool in order to produce more violence and more uh, repression in Venezuela.
That's our main concern and our uh, urgency right now. So do you believe he has the desire and the strength and the, the resources and the ability to crack down even further than has already happened over the last couple of years? Well, they have, he has the desire. I have no question about that. He desires to be in power uh, all the time he can, but he, he has not the strength. Venezuelan people is out of, of the streets. We are, we are arriving to 90 days of demonstrations all over Venezuela. Unfortunately, they, we have had like 80, 80, 80 uh, people which has been killed in the demonstration. But anyway, people right now, as we are talking right now, uh, Christine, we have a huge demonstration all over Venezuela, and, and people is willing to, to defend human rights, to defend constitution, to defend democracy. Uh, at the end of the day, what we want is only the opportunity and our right to have free elections in Venezuela. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Borges, you know, we see these dreadful pictures all the time and these brave people coming out on the streets. We led into your interview, you know, depicting the shortages, the inflation, the poverty, the crises in the hospitals, people scavenging for food. But look, 75 of these people have been killed. Is there really a way yeah, forward yeah. with demonstrations? Is there no other way to resolve this peacefully? Well, obviously, there, there is other, other ways to resolve the problem in Venezuela. And I would like to take this opportunity, Christine, to, to make a call to the international community. We, we are promoting the creation, a kind of a group of countries which can be a, like monitoring or even making a, a group like it was Contadora in the 80s in Latin America. So we think that it could be a way in order to have the involvement of a real governments in order to, to achieve a democratic solution in Venezuela. So we are not fighting only for, for have a demonstration in the streets. What we want is to have an electoral and democratic solution in Venezuela. Well, so far it hasn't accepted a lot of the uh, ideas that have come from abroad. Are you relying on the Organization of American States? Are you relying on the goodwill of the United States? Where do you look for help? Well, right now, Christine, we are looking for the particular leadership of different countries in the region, Peru, Colombia, Mexico, uh, Central America. Uh, uh, we hope that uh, these uh, different countries could make an agreement in order to build a kind of group in order to support a solution in Venezuela. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we would like that this kind of uh, association, as the Organization of American States, the United Nations, or MERCOSUR, could help. But right now, we are relying on particular leadership of different presidents in the region. Julio Borges, thank you so much indeed for joining us, President of the Venezuelan National Assembly. Thank you very much, Christine.